This is a practical IP version 4 subnetting lab. Now this is a practical lab helping you test and verify your knowledge of IP version 4 subnetting. We're not simply going to talk about the theory of IP version 4 subnetting. You need to subnet, but in addition, configure the network and get it working. You need to configure IP addresses on routers, on switches, and on DHCP servers. And then you need to configure the DHCP servers to allocate IP addresses to the clients in the correct subnet. So once again, this is a practical demonstration and lab of IP version 4 subnetting. In this packet tracer lab, we have multiple sites, site 1 and site 2, connected via serial links to an internet router. You need to configure the network as follows. You've been allocated subnet 192.168.1.0/24 and you need to subnet this network into four subnets as follows. Subnet 1 needs to be allocated to site 1. Subnet 2 to the serial link between router 1 and the internet router. Subnet 3 to site 2. And subnet 4 to the link between router 2 and the internet router. Now, we are not going to initially optimize the subnetting. You're only going to create four subnets and then split them across these four networks. In a subsequent video, we'll optimize the serial links to use a slash 30 mask and then make more subnets available for additional sites. But in this initial topology, you simply need to create four subnets. You should configure the routers per the instructions in the diagram. In other words, this interface on router 1 should use the last IP address in the relevant subnet. This interface should use the first IP address in the subnet on the serial link. The internet router is going to use the last IP address in both subnets on the serial links. And router 2 will once again use the last IP address in the subnet on the Ethernet interface and the first IP address on the serial interface. You need to configure the switches with the second last IP address in the subnet and the DHCP servers with the third last IP address in the subnet. So as an example, at site 1, the switch, switch 1, should be configured with the second last IP address in the subnet and the DHCP server with the third last IP address. The same should be done for switch 2 in site 2 and the third last IP address should be configured on the DHCP server at site 2. You also need to configure the DHCP servers to allocate IP addresses to the clients in the relevant subnets. So as an example, DHCP server 1 should allocate IP addresses to PC0, PC1 and PC2 in the subnet allocated to this network. DHCP server 2 should allocate IP addresses in the correct subnet to PC3, 4 and 5. Once you've done your configuration, verify that PCs can access Cisco.com and Facebook.com using their browsers. The server 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 is configured as a DNS server. So think of this as the Google DNS server that is configured with A records for Cisco.com and Facebook.com. So once you've got your network configured with the correct IP addresses, your DHCP servers are allocating IP addresses to the clients. The clients should be able to access Cisco.com and Facebook.com. Again, this is the DNS server in the network. Okay, so can you complete this lab? Can you work out the relevant subnets, the relevant IP addresses, and configure the routers, switches, and DHCP servers to get this network working? Download the packet tracer file and see if you can complete the lab yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete the lab.